The Faith I Live By, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Babylon is fallen. And there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Revelation 14 verse 8. The second angel's message of Revelation 14 was first preached in the summer of 1844, and it then had a more direct application to the churches of the United States, where the warning of the judgment had been most widely proclaimed and most generally rejected, and where the declension in the churches had been most rapid. But the message of the second angel did not reach its complete fulfillment in 1844. The churches then experienced a moral fall in consequence of the refusal of the light of the Advent message. But that fall was not complete. As they have continued to reject the special truths for this time, they have fallen lower and lower. Not yet, however, can it be said that Babylon is fallen because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. She has not yet made all nations do this. The work of apostasy has not yet reached its culmination. The Bible declares that before the second coming of the Lord, Satan will work with all power and signs and lying wonders and with all deceivablenesses of unrighteousness, and they that receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved, will be left to receive strong delusions, that they should believe a lie. Not until this condition shall be reached, and the union of the church with the world shall be fully accomplished throughout Christendom, will the fall of Babylon be complete. The change is a progressive one, and the perfect fulfillment of Revelation 14.8 is yet future. Notwithstanding the spiritual darkness and alienation from God that exist in the churches which constitute Babylon, the great body of Christ's true followers are still to be found in their communion. There are many of these who have never seen the special truths for this time.